Do you ever just look in the sky and wonder, how'd they change that from the default Unity skybox? Hey guys, it's Elo Beta. In this video, you'll learn some various methods to change the skybox in Unity. We'll be looking at three simple methods today, procedural, panoramic, and cube map, each with their pros and cons. First up, the procedural skybox. This one gives a set of options and colors to create a simple skybox material. Some pros, it's easy to do and fast to set up, no textures required. Some cons, it's just a reskin of the default Unity texture and it's not very flexible. In your Unity project, create a new material. In the inspector, change the shader. Click on the drop down and go to Skybox Procedural. There's a couple of ways to change the scene skybox to your new material. Number one, go to Window, Rendering, Lighting Settings. Drag your new skybox material into the first slot. And the second method, just drag the material onto the sky. Easy. Now, we have a small buffet of options to choose from with the procedural skybox material, so let's go through each one. The sun option sets the quality of the sun in the sky. You can choose to have a high quality, simple, or no sun at all in the sky. High quality gives a bit of glow around the edges, and simple is just a circle. Sun size changes the sun size. Sun size convergence only appears when you have high quality sun selected, and it changes the size of the glow effect around the sun. Atmosphere thickness simulates the density of particles in the air and changes color accordingly. Thinner tends to give it a more space-like feel, and thicker gives it a more sunset feel. Sky tint changes the color of the sky. Less saturation tends to be more realistic, while more saturation gives it a more stylized look. Ground changes the color of the skybox beneath the horizon. And exposure changes the brightness of the sky. Second option, panoramic. It takes an image and wraps it around the sky like a sphere. Some pros, it's more customizable than panoramic, and it's pretty easy to set up. And some cons, it requires a texture, and the top and bottom of the texture get a little stretched because of the sphere. You'll need to import a panoramic image first, either one of your own or a pre-made texture. The one I'm using is from a website provided in the video description. Create a new material. Change the shader to Skybox Panoramic. Then, drag your texture into the spherical HDR slot. Now for the options. Tint alters the color of the texture. Exposure changes the brightness. Rotation can be used to spin the image around 360 degrees. Mapping changes the way the material processes the image. I recommend using latitude longitude layout. Image type only shows when latitude longitude layout is given, and it switches between 360 degrees, full surroundings, and 180 degrees, half surroundings. Third option, cube map. It takes an image and uses six square textures from that to render a cube around the scene. Some pros, it's very customizable and there's minimal stretching. It's probably the best quality material. Some cons, it requires a very specific format texture and it's the hardest to set up. When using cube map, you have to have a texture imported that uses this kind of shape. I used one from another website, which is in the description below. In the import settings, make sure to change the texture shape to cube. Create a new material. Change the shader to skybox cube map. Then drag your cube texture into the cube map HDR slot. Tint alters the color of the texture. Exposure changes the brightness and rotation can be used to spin the image around 360 degrees. And there you have it. Three different ways to make a skybox. There's one more, skybox six sided, but it's basically like the cube map you just need six textures to put it in. I won't really go into that. So basically, the three options are like this. The more customizable, the longer it takes a setup, but the more potential it has and the higher quality it is. Thanks for watching, hope it was helpful, and remember guys, life's a game, have fun with it.